So what have we got here? What's going on? So we've just uh, taken the camera out from the, uh, the last dive mm -hmm. and then download the images uh, straight onto the computer. And then normally we can get the, the images that we've taken on the dive up within the hour uh, up on the internet. So we've got our social media pages and uh, we've got over 1.7 million at the moment. And we just like to keep people updated on what we're doing. This is pretty radical from the perspective of science and research to be having this much of a consistent and immediate online presence. Yes, and we wanted, I mean, that is an essential part of the Catlin Seaview survey. It's really about trying to communicate the science as much as doing the science itself. Yeah, there's a, a greater purpose than just showing pretty pictures of fish to this endeavor to try and help people understand what's at, at risk here. Absolutely. The, the pretty pictures of the fish are really to start getting people engaged in the first place. Then we want to take people on a journey with us so they actually get involved in the science. So um, we explain the science but then try to get them involved in the analysis of the data so they really understand what's going on in the oceans. A partnership with Google allows the survey team to bring the company's Street View technology underwater, giving anyone with internet access the chance to go on a virtual dive at many of the survey sites. Viver says he had doubts that the scientific community would embrace this form of instant outreach. I thought there would be a lot of uh, resistance to what we're trying to do. Um, but universally, I, well, I haven't had one negative comment from any scientist, and we've been talking to hundreds about this project. I think every scientist we've spoken to realizes there's a need for science to be communicated extremely well and this project um, allows so many scientists to do exactly that. Do you fear that that type of outreach might interfere with the serious science that's going on? We're showing them the evidence, showing the methodology, showing the sort of philosophy of science and I think that's an important experience in itself. But you're right, I mean, we can do so much more in taking the raw, unpolluted evidence and communicating it to the places where it needs to go. And I think the Catlin Seaview Survey does that in a way which is very unique. It's certainly unique from my experience. And that's one of the reasons why I'm quite hopeful about how much impact it will have. So for me, that's why this is exciting. I mean, before it's like, well, you do a science project, you get a press release, you get a paper, and that's the end of it. For me, this is a global problem and it's going to involve billions of people understanding the problem.